importing a groove shadow and using Tractor to beat grid with the groove shadow. Uh, essentially what I've done is I dropped in the groove shadow first and I had beat grid do its thing and I guess you could choose auto to automatically set up a, or reanalyze the grid. So it found an idea of quantization even though groove shadows really don't have a tempo that's the point that's what makes them kind of tricky. So anyways it found that and then I imported a drum loop and then I basically had to kind of resync the groove shadow to the drum loop because it had readjusted itself when I imported the uh, Groove Shadow. Anyways, so the Groove Shadow sounds like this. For purpose, it shows like one of the most basic style drum loops. So what we do here is, let's hear it first. cool stuff can happen with those groove shadows like that and if you have additional parts going the cool part about tractor everything is cool about tractor but one of the cool things about that's cool is it has the EQ the most essential EQ built in so you don't have to worry about different kinds of groove shadows necessarily because you can carve out what you need to carve out uh, for each part so that it will play harmoniously with whatever you want to additionally add in there so if you have a bass and you have a lot of low in the groove shadow, you can just reduce the low, et cetera, et cetera, like that. And then, of course, you have these amazing filters, and you have these amazing arsenal of effects as well. So this is just a quick example of how you can quickly sync up a groove shadow with any kind of drum, basically. And then the key part is getting the proper beat grid on the shadow so that it has a basic idea of what's going on with the quantization of the of the groove shadow and once you have that then you can really um, mess with tempo and other things and really go nuts and this is one so if we had one that we liked that's working well with this drum loop we could then take this piece over here and drag it into our remix set so now I know I have something that's always going to work in lock with this drum and so that's really awesome anyways that's a quick way to sort of beat grid your groove shadow, have it locked to the tempo, and then have it ready to go in an arsenal of groove shadows that will come later.